After losing her parents in an accident, a girl named Katie moves in with her aunt Gemma. Gemma works for a company that makes high-tech toys. She's just one step from finishing her dream project, a life-sized robotic doll Megan. The AI gives the doll endless learning capabilities. Seeing that Katie is struggling to come back to normal life, Gemma decides to test Megan on the girl. The effect exceeds Gemma's boldest expectations, as Katie starts to open up. But the problem is, Megan is learning too fast, and she's learning all kinds of things, not only good ones. How do you handle this situation, when to Katie, Megan has already become more than just a toy? There is one crucial ingredient that a mainstream horror needs, in order to become a hit, and this is, fun. Your film can talk about hard stuff, venture into dark themes, or ask serious questions, but if it's not fun, it will never be successful at the box office. Whether you like it or not, people go to the movies to be entertained. This is what stands behind the success of producer Jason Bloom and James Wan, who made the now iconic horror franchises Saw, Insidious, and The Conjuring. The two creators collaborated on the production of Megan. The film walks a thin line between a horror and a dark comedy, and it does it in a such cool way, that you can't help but admire how subtly the duo feels the genre. There's no lack of scary movies about the dark side of technology, or dolls that turn out not as simple and harmless as they seem. Besides, an attempt to marry these two subjects was already made in the 2019 reboot of the iconic slasher Child's Play. Bringing in Gerard Johnston, the director of the horror comedy film Housebound, Juan and Bloom analyzed their predecessors' ideas and came up with a story of their own. The story that, although lacking in originality, turned out very good. Quite interestingly, back in the 1980s, Wes Craven played around with a similar concept in his sci-fi horror Deadly Friend, that talks about a young man, who put his robot's microchip into the brain of a girl living next door. However, the horror maestro lacked many things, among which a sense of measure, taste, and humor, if you will. The creators of Megan have no problems with any of these three ingredients. Megan is full of fun, tension, and scary stuff. But at the same time, when you least expect it, the movie puts on a red clown nose and pulls out a gun loaded with a deadly dose of absurdity, as if asking the audience, hey, why so serious? Because of the PG-13 rating, Megan is relatively bloodless, which makes it harder to take the film seriously. But the funny thing is, the creators didn't intend for us to take their work seriously in the first place, and that realization is disarming. At the same time, Megan is definitely not a dumb movie. Under thick layers of black humor and genre-specific jokes, there's a thought that child's upbringing is not just about education and development, but also about emotional involvement. If you leave your kid with gadgets and technologies, don't act surprised when one day they hit you on the head with a tablet, which means much more to them than you. Like all James Wan's works, Megan is a first-class horror. Allison Williams and Violet McGraw in the roles of Gemma and Katie make a charming duo. It comes as no surprise that the $12 million film grossed 10 times its budget in just one month, providing strong competition to Avatar 2. The tremendous box office success made a sequel inevitable. It looks like Juan masterminded another long-running franchise that will earn a ton of money not only for him, but for his kids, and kids of his kids too.